I wanted also to say something uh, about the energy crisis that we're in today. And on April the 24th, 2006, Mr. Speaker, that's almost two years ago, then Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi stated in a press conference that, and I quote, Democrats have a common sense plan to help bring down skyrocketing gas prices, end quote. Not only have House Democrats failed to offer any meaningful solutions to address gas prices, they have actually put forward policies that will have exactly the opposite effect. Uh, and she made this statement April 2006, six months before the November elections, when the Democrats did gain the majority. And since taking control of Congress, guess what, Mr. Speaker? Gasoline prices have skyrocketed by more than $1.60 a gallon in my home state of Georgia. In fact, in Georgia's 11th district, my congressional district, Northwest Georgia, working families are now paying as much as $3.78 for a gallon of regular gasoline. Every dollar counts, Mr. Speaker, and families should not have to spend them on this Pelosi premium. They need to buy school equipment. They need to put shoes on their children's feet. Uh, they need to buy clothes uh, this fall. Uh, every dollar indeed counts, Mr. Speaker. Working families and their budgets need relief. They do not need more broken promises. Energy prices are rising, cost of living expenses are up, and the Democrats' do-nothing leadership has proven that it's content just sit on the sidelines and do little other than raise taxes and increase spending. With gasoline prices skyrocketing, our dependence on foreign oil increasing, and the American people's anxiety growing, it is long past time to increase the supply of American-made energy to help lower these prices here at home. So, Mr. Speaker, I'm not holding my breath for a common sense plan. Maybe there was a plan, but it sure wasn't common sense, and it definitely didn't lower gas prices. Uh, that's what Speaker Pelosi promised uh, the American people two years ago. Uh, I hope that we, the Democrats will begin working with the Republicans, and let's do lower energy prices. Let's have a meaningful energy bill that makes sense. And with that, Mr. Speaker, again, I oppose this uh, uh, rule on the budget resolution, and I ask my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, let's do something meaningful about gas prices. And I yield back. Gentleman's time has expired.